welcome back to another video of Smith's Fishing Outdoors. And we're with this man, Brian Schaefer. Hopefully he can put us on a fish. He put us on he put me on one last year. You guys seeing, so we'll get fish. Make it happen again? We'll get fish today. What's the what's the game plan? We're gonna rubber it this morning for a while. Might try a little trolling and might dig in some weeds. Deuces we and tubes. Crazy weather patterns this year, so kind of all Yeah, it's over 45 place. degrees this morning, but it's supposed to get to 70, so that'll be a little yeah. nicer. We'll put fish in a boat. We'll get one here real soon. I like the confidence. As soon as you start Another casting. boat just caught one, so. Yeah. Let's, uh, just got out let's here. get checked. Kind of got a late start, and it's quite a few boats out here. But it's all right. Let's catch one. Let's get them. This one's been munched a few times. Let's get it munched again. There's a nice weed flat right here, and then there's a nice weed point that comes out in front of you. So make sure you get some casts in front of the boat. Was there muskies on it? Probably not, but you just gotta practice, get you warmed up on your casting first. Actually, there's not even muskies in this lake. I just wanted to make sure you guys know how to cast and figure eight and whatnot. Then we'll go to Muskie Lake. Hmm? Oh yeah, I see him. It's right on him. He turned on it. What's your take on live scope fish, Brian? I love it. No, it's a good tool. You learn a lot. Baits, depths, how the fish react. depth reaction of fish it's kind of like what you said earlier you know what was that about that one over that one crib what did you have you know you worked a medusa and... yeah a couple days ago we were out here and i was using a medusa working it over a crib nothing happened i put a, a mid grenade a mini grenade on same thing and i could work it i could see the bait coming in worked it right over the crib dropped it down and, and then i had a fish come up on it but you can't work it like that without live. I mean, I brought it inches above it, dropped it right down the side. It's a pretty amazing tool. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. GoFundMe. GoFundMe account, Fisher? To get a live scope. <laughs> All right, Fisher, what you do? Catch a muskie. You don't have to have. Alright guys, well, we moved back to the area where Brian had a, had a muskie up. I switched to a uh, 710 tactical strike assault stick with a uh, 5 9 to 1 PC fun 300 size. And I'm throwing a little 8 inch navin. 
It seems like Brian's got this thing really nice and dancing. And uh, hopefully we can catch a fish. Dad switched to the tube I got my 53 on. He's trying to replicate that. Got a nice breeze starting. It's getting warmer out. This cold front's kind of been messing up these fish, but this warm front should get them eating a little bit. Might do some trolling later. Bait's pretty high. So, we're just gonna try to catch a muskie. Isn't that what you always do? What do you think of fish? Going out trolling rods. Lots of bait. It's behind you. Coming in. Hmm? Oh, you're beyond him. So she's yeah. on him on the bottom? Yep. He's a nice one. So we watched this fish right here. He swam off the bottom, went all the way up the surface, and we watched some porpoise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come take a look at us. Who the heck's casting on us? Becky's gonna come up to the surface again. There he's coming up. He's coming up. He's gonna come up over here, right? Yep, right between our two us. Yeah. 
I haven't caught one this year. The rod was right, like right there. <laughs> Scoop them. <laughs> Scoop them, alright. I cast it right nice off that job, log. Pal. And I just, I, I almost, I thought I almost hit the log. And then it was twitch, twitch, twitch. Boom. Big time toolkit here on this fish. There you go, bro. Good to be prepared. You did a gay roll. Yeah, they smoked that Kodiak, eh? Yep. Yeah, Kodiak blunt nose. It's oh, been yeah. a good bait. Yeah. First one on that color. Orange and gold. I figured that color would be good out here since Schaefer pulled out an orange color, and I'm like... Oh, oh you know how to fish dark water. I love dark water. It's around there, look. And he didn't miss it at all. He just head hunting it. Got that front hook. Yeah, when the neck gets in their teeth. You're gonna have to retie. Eh. Got a clip hook, so you got clip Yeah, hook. you wanna get them out of there? Yep. Put a new hook on there. Hooks are cheap. Muskies aren't. All right, you ready? Oh yeah. This fish. It's a cute little bugger. Nice fish. Feels so good to hold musky. To start. Bump up. <laughs> That's why I was holding on. What is he? 36. 36. Get a picture. Right away. Got a couple stills. Ah, uh, 36. Ah, uh, he smoked that glider. Yeah, that Kodiak blunt nose. I'm gonna get a tail slap on this one. Nice one. <laughs> Boom. Good job. It's a start for the day. We're gonna we have a good lakes. evening. Went to a river and uh, first spot, Wisconsin River here, and uh, see what we can do, huh? Catch some Started more. off pretty quick. All right, guys, that was the first muskie on the PC phone Alloys. This is the uh, or my first muskie on the PC phone Alloys. That was a that was this is the five nine to one jerk bait and the seven ten tactical strike. And I know I said it, but the uh, bait I'm using is this walleye and orange Kodiak blunt nose. Clip the front hooks. We put a new hook on there, and we're back in business. All right, guys. Well, we always do a tip in these videos, so I think I'm going to talk to you guys about gliders it's june we just had a cold front fish aren't really going on bucktails right after the cold front so what i'm doing is working this glider relatively quick kind of just tap 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 give it a slight little pause just kind of trying to get a reaction bite with this kodiak and see how i'm just tapping it back and forth and this one's really good i like it a lot because it's got a really tight you can really twitch it fast because it's got a nice tight and then if you let it hang if you let it pause it'll go out wider but if you twitch it real fast it's got a really tight a little tight little uh side to side motion and that's what triggered that fish to eat so i'm gonna keep keep throwing this and uh 
Dad's throwing a little sister. That thing sounds amazing. Is that a uh, black and orange? Black and orange, little sister, chaos. That thing's pretty. Yep. We got all chaos baits running right now. Brian's throwing a eight inch Navin. So, good spread going. See if we can figure out some more fish. Wow, we caught one. Got one in the boat. Mm -hmm. She was a tough day. We threw gliders, dab throwing some top water. Didn't seem like they were going after no, anything. I think tough. I think just because I caught one right away, that's probably yep. why. Kiss of death. Mm -hmm. I think Bad you got luck. one on what your six, seven. Yeah. Cast. Yeah. So. It's just the water temperatures are yo-yo. We go 90 degrees yesterday, what? Your hands were freezing. Yeah. You had every piece of clothing you had on, and now today, look at us. Sweating. So. Yeah, it was. It was tough. It but was you got tough, one. but caught a fish on a Kodiak. Yep. And nice fish. Yeah. If they want to book a guide trip, where can they uh, reach you? Just go to SchaferSoutdoor.com. Schaefer Outdoors. I tell you guys, he's a really fun guy to fish with. Thank like, you. joke around and... Pretty exhausted right now, though. You beat <laughs> me. You beat me up. Oh, yeah. I did last year, too. You yeah. I caught the 42 last year. That's right. You kind of were a fish hog last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. This year again, too. Oh, well, we had fun. Threw a bunch of baits and... Yeah, we've seen some fish. fish, seen a nice fish earlier today. Yeah, so we're but. gonna go get a bite to eat after this. So, uh, hope you guys like this episode of Swiss Fishing Outdoors. Please hit the like, subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next adventure.